Hey guys, just following up from the last roster change video, gonna show you guys the changes that I made from your guys' comments on the last video. So we're gonna get to Arizona right here, and I forgot to edit Chris Pronger, so he is now a 36 overall, so that Arizona can't use him. And I also edited, uh, where is he, where is he, Jacob Chikrin. He uh, was originally a 79 overall, he's still a 79 overall, however, I edited Chikrin's passing, puck control, and shot accuracy. He's still a 79 overall. From the Boston Bruins, I edited David Pasternak. He was originally a medium top six. He's now a medium elite. He went from an 85 to an 86 overall. I edited his passing, puck control, shot, aggressiveness, hand-eye, and offensive awareness. From Buffalo, I edited Jack Eichel. He was originally an 86. He's now an 87 overall. I edited his passing, puck control, face-offs, and offensive awareness. From Chicago, I edited Nick Schmaltz. He was originally a 77. He is now a 79 overall. I edited his defensive awareness, offensive awareness, stick checking, face-offs, and shot accuracy. Going over to Edmonton, we have a lot of changes here. Uh, probably the most on the list out of any team. So we'll start out with Kajula, I guess that's how his name is pronounced. Uh, he was originally a 76 overall. He's now a 78. I edited his shot, uh, offensive awareness, his aggressiveness, his puck control, his speed, and his passing. So this is Kijula. I also edited in goaltenders. I edited Laurent Brassat. He was originally a 72. I thought that was a bit low for him, especially given his stats, his stats this year. So I made him a 77 overall. I boosted everything, every one of his stats by three. And I also turned him from a medium fringe to a low starter. So hopefully that helps him out a bit. I also edited one of the defensemen, Adam Larson. Uh, he was originally an 85 overall. He's now an 86. He was also originally a low elite. He's now a medium elite. I uh, upgraded his body checking, strength, balance, shot blocking, defensive awareness, and stick checking. Also on Edmonton, I upgraded Leon Dreisaitl, who was originally an 84 overall. I decided to put him to an 86. One of you guys said he should be an 88, So I was, I was, but I was looking at his stats. I thought, eh, it's a bit high for him, and I haven't... Keep in mind, I haven't seen him play, all right? So I'm just going... Ba based off purely stats here so i upgraded him to an 86 he i upgraded his body checking passing shot accuracy puck control strength balance face-offs hand eye offensive and defensive awareness stick checking and aggressiveness so uh he's a pretty pretty good player now also on defense for the edmonton oilers andre sakara he's originally he was originally a, a 85 overall he's now an 86 just bumped him up to an 86 i got him his I got his shot accuracy, his stick checking, and his defensive awareness up. Also on Edmonton, <laughs> I boosted Oscar Clefbaum. He was originally an 83. He's now an 85. I upgraded his shot accuracy, offensive and defensive awareness, passing, and puck control. And lastly on Edmonton, I upgraded Connor McDavid. You guys were saying to upgrade him a little bit. I didn't want to make him too OP, so he's still a 92. He's originally a 92 and still is. I upgraded, I upgraded his passing, puck control, hand-eye, and face-offs. All right, that's it for Edmonton. Finally, we're on to LA. I edited Tanner Pearson, and Pearson I gave uh, offensive awareness boost, shot boost, and puck control boost. He was originally an 84. He's now an 85. I also edited Jeff Carter. He was originally an 89. He's now a 90. I, I upgraded his shot accuracy and offensive awareness. On Minnesota, I upgraded Mikhail Granlund. He was originally an 85. He's now an 87. He also had the medium top six. He now has a medium elite. I upgraded his passing, puck control, shot, hand-eye, and offensive awareness. I also edited uh, Jason Zucker. He was originally an 83. He's now an 85. I upgraded his passing, shot, puck control, hand-eye, offensive and defensive awareness, and stick checking. Over to Montreal now, I edited Philip Deneau. I gave him a boost in puck control, passing, shot accuracy, offensive and defensive awareness, and speed. He was originally a 79. He's now an 82. I also gave him the high top nine potential as compared to a low top nine potential, what he had before. On Nashville, I upgraded U UC Saros. He was originally a low fringe starter. You guys were saying he should be a medium elite, and he was originally a 79. I made him an 82, and I gave him plus two to every single one of his stats. Heading over to New Jersey now. Once again, I upgraded Miles Wood again. Um, and you guys were saying that 
he should be slightly higher again. And uh, so I, I boosted him from a 75 to a 78. He was originally a 72 before the roster update. Uh, he's still a high top nine. I upgraded his offensive and defensive awareness, passing, and shot accuracy. From Pittsburgh, I upgraded Connor Sheary. He was originally an 80. He's now an 82. I upgraded his passing, puck control, shot accuracy, hand-eye, offensive awareness, and speed. From Tampa Bay, I upgraded Jonathan Drouin. He is he was originally an 82. He's now an 84. I upgraded his passing, puck control, shot accuracy, balance, aggressiveness, offensive awareness, hand-eye, and speed. From the Toronto Maple Leafs, I upgraded Mitch Marner. He was originally a low elite. He's now a medium elite. He's still an 84 overall. I upgraded his puck control, passing, shot accuracy, offensive awareness, and hand-eye. Also on Toronto, I upgraded William Nylander. He was also originally a low elite. He's now a medium elite. He was originally, I believe, an 82. Could still be an 83. I don't know. <laughs> um, forgot to write that part down. And I upgraded his passing, offensive awareness, face-offs, and puck control. From Vancouver, I upgraded Bo Horvat. He was originally an 84. He is now an 86 overall. I upgraded his defensive awareness, stick checking, and face-offs. And from Winnipeg, I upgraded Patrick Lyon once again. Uh, I decided to upgrade him from an 85 to an 87. I upgraded his passing, puck control, and shot. All right, that's it for the NHL. Going into the OHL now. have a few junior changes. I believe the first one is in Sarnia. And that would be Jordan Kairou. He was originally a 57. I made him a 67. He was originally a low AHL top six. He was taken in the second round by St. Louis. I made him a high top six. And uh, his stats this year in, in Sarnia uh, justify that. He has 30 goals and 57 assists. So, And I upgraded everything but fighting. From the Guelph Storm, I upgraded Ryan Merkley. He was originally a high top six. Well, not originally, but I put him to a high top six. You guys were saying to put him to a high top four. So that's exactly what I did. That's the only change I made to Merkley. Jumping over to Mississauga now, I upgraded Ryan McLeod. He was originally a 54. I made him a 61. Upgraded everything but fighting. Another change I made in Mississauga, Owen Tippett. He was originally a 53. I made him a 59. Same thing. Upgraded everything but fighting. And also, Nick Hag, he was originally a 57, made him a 64, upgraded everything but face-offs and fighting. Jumping over to Windsor now, I upgraded Logan Stanley, who was originally a medium top six. You guys said medium top four, so that's what I did. Heading over to the WHL now, we are on the Kamloops Blazers. And I upgraded... Who is he? Yeah, here you go. Rudolph's Balsers. Uh, he is a... Me I made him a high elite potential. He's... He was drafted by the San Jose Sharks in 2015 in the fifth round. He is now a 72 overall as compared to a 66. He was originally a medium top nine potential. And he has some pretty good stats this year. And not to mention the name. Just, that's great. Heading over to the SHL. We are going to sort by defenseman. Sort by potential. Just got to find him. I think he's on for Wanda. Yes, Rasmus Dahlin. I upgraded him from a 60 to a 70 overall. I upgraded everything but face-offs and fighting. And I upgraded him from a medium elite to a high elite. This guy's going to be a stud. Also in the SHL, I upgraded Lias Anderson. He was originally a 72 overall. He's now at 75. I upgraded everything but fighting. And on the Hershey Bears, I created Ilya Samsonov. He is now a... He is... Well, not now, but since he was created, he is a 78 overall. Here's his individual stats. And uh, he's 19 years old, medium elite potential. This guy's going to be good. Washington has a uh, uh, good goaltender of the future and good goaltender now in Brayden Holpe. For the Tucson Ro Roadrunners, or however you pronounce Tucson, I think it's Tucson, right? But um, I created Clayton Keller. Uh, he is a 70 overall. He is 18 years old, playmaker. There's his individual stats, and uh, this guy's going to be good for Arizona. So, yeah, that's about it for created players. That's it for edited players for now. That's all the edits that I did. Uh, if you guys have any more suggestions, leave them down below um, in the comments. I This is about all the edits I'm going to do. But, uh, as I mentioned in the comments of the last video, what I want to do 
is I want to upgrade to to make the draft a bit more interesting. I want to upgrade some junior players who weren't initially NHL bound. Like I'll show you what I mean here as an example. Uh, we'll just go to WHL, just choose a random player here. So, so uh, someone like this guy maybe here, like Blake Jameson, uh, was he drafted? No, he was undrafted. So he's he's eligible for the year one draft. So like, for example, we would take this guy and we would upgrade him to something like uh, a high top six. Now, I'm not going to record myself doing this because one reason. I want uh, I want it to be a surprise basically for you guys so that there is some variety in the draft and you wouldn't necessarily know, uh, you know, where to go to scout because let's say we just have this. I decide to make a franchise player. Now, this is going to be – this. I'm not saying I'm going to make every single one of them franchise players. I'm going to randomize those two. I'm going to randomize the potentials and I'm going to randomize – uh, the accuracy of the potentials. So we could have a, a low elite. We could have a high top six uh, defenseman. We could have a low franchise. We could have a high franchise. We could have whatever. As long as it's an NHL bound potential, I want to give some new guys some uh, some chance at making the NHL just so that the draft is a bit more interesting in the first three or four years. That's about it. So, once again, any more changes, let me know. I don't think I'll be recording them just because it's probably not going to be too many more changes. It's probably going to only be like, I would imagine, two or three more edits that I'm going to make. And I'll, I'll, I'll bring those up, I guess, when we do the first episode of the new GM mode. Which, speaking of which, I'm making the GM mode vote video right now. I have, I have six teams lined up and uh, it should be a good one, so... Let me know of any more changes, as I said. I'll see you guys in the next one.